Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. This is the Huawei P Smart 2019. This is uh, my review. It's broken down into different sections. There's the phone UI, the camera UI, the camera sample shots from video photo, my analysis of all that. There's an audio test, Bluetooth, loudspeaker, wired headphones and my overall summary, and I'll put an index as well. So let's go check this out. So let's take a look inside the box of this beautiful high pin Smart 2019. I actually have already set this up. So in here you do get the SIM ejector tool, it's just dropped inside the box. And get some few leaflets, you get a lot of books, which I don't understand why I need so many. You have a USB-A to micro USB, your plug, and in here you have the uh, headset with a 3.5mm jack, which is really good to actually have that. So taking the phone out of the box, one thing you can see is how quickly it gets fingerprints. I'm going to just wipe this down, but it is in black, a really beautiful design. It's the first thing that struck me. When I first got to set eyes on this, how I really liked it's got the round curved corners. It's really beautiful. On the back, just run through some specs, obviously fingerprint sensor, 13 megapixel AI camera, it's an F1.8, 2 megapixel uh, depth sensor. You have 8 megapixel uh, front camera and you have a, a beautiful 6.21 inch IPS screen which is the narrow resolution for the teardrop display that means obviously you get more bezel than anything you could really um, want just sort of looking at this 8 megapixel front camera it is an f2.0 and i've got plenty of um, photos to show you on that as well and it does have all the usual huawei features now i'm going to run through some of these features in a bit more depth to sort of show you some of the actual things that we have so i've just brought the phone a bit nearer so you can see so if we run through this is what it looks like when you first power it up i've just changed the wallpaper you have all your google apps pre-installed as follows you also have um, here the high care the huawei files app huawei app gallery um, in the tools you have Huawei wallets, the FM radio, so if you weren't sure if had an FM radio, it does, and um, it has party mode, and because I've got a Vodafone SIM in here, it will actually, put, it puts the Vodafone um, SIM control aspect there. It's then got these top apps that they're pre-installed, so I've got Amazon, eBay, Facebook's pre-installed, Booking, I added Send Anywhere, it's the only app that I've actually added since I set this up, but what you do have if we swipe down you have um, your quick notification toggles here and you can actually adjust sorry that's the settings thing you do have the quick notifications show you things and you've got extra options from uh, ultra power save mode navigation dock wireless projection do not disturb screen recorder eye comfort has nfc as you can see and nearby so it does have everything you could possibly want and it has the Huawei share and screenshot options there. So quite comprehensive. Now, so I'm, I'm gonna show you um, the audio side. In fact, I will do that now. So I'm just gonna go straight into sounds. I'm gonna straight down to um, the Huawei uh, listen. So what I need to do is just find some headphones with a headphone jack. And it's one of those things that you think, you know, as we move away from um, headphones that I'll go either wireless. I have less and less wired headphones, but I do have some very nice wired headphones. So I've just plugged in the Huawei, um, sorry, some headphones into the 3.5 jack, and now the Huawei hiss and sound effects come alive. Now, just a quick tip if you hit standard instead of auto, so you've got auto, uh, which automatically adjusts the sound effects, optimum audio, 3D audio. So if you, um, if you do 3D audio, um, it asks you to decide on the sound effects if you want near, front, grand, wide. So those are the options for 3D audio. 
natural. Um, it's a natural prioritized authentic sound production standard, which is just a little bit more basic, but then you do get the options for over the ear, any in ear. You can choose a particular model of headphone, <clears throat> but this is what I like in standard. You can actually change here. You've got the graphic um, equalizer and a bass booster. And I've got to say, I'll um, cover these off after when I talk about the quality of the audio. I'm just showing you some of the settings, but I will talk about what these sound like with various headphones plugged in. So I just wanted to quickly show you that particular aspect. But while we're in here, I might as well show you some of the other settings. So you've got here your usual uh, tethering hotspot, dual SIM settings. And if you go into there, you'll notice that you can have dual SIM 4G as well, which is pretty good on a phone that's running the Kirin 710. You know, you wouldn't expect perhaps the Kirin 710 to be, you know, that capable with the dual 4G at this price. Let's remember, it's only a couple hundred quid, this phone. Um, that That is particularly um, really good, to be honest. Um, the... You know, it's got a 3,400 milliamp battery power on this, which is quite good. And it's obviously got GPU Turbo 2, so it helps in playing games. You've got Bluetooth, NFC, Huawei Beam, wireless projection. And I don't want to do that. I want to keep the connections off, but I'm just having notifications come through. On the home screen, you've got your magazine unlock. You have themes, wallpaper, home screen settings, and home screen style. Home screen settings, so you can lock the layout, auto align, shapes to align, app icon badges, home screen loop, and you have the option for the Google feed when you swipe right on the home screen. Um, you can have apps draw or non-app drawers. I've got completely used to not having an app drawer now. And you can have lock screen signature, and this does have its ability to count your steps. This phone is part of the Huawei Health, and you can show the step count on the screen. Again, very good to have this at this price point, I've got to say. You can also adjust the brightness, no issues there. You've got color temperature control as well, very handy. Uh, eye comfort, you can have that with a schedule. So you can have and you can adjust the color temperature. Text size and display size, so you can adjust the scaling and the text size. Again, it's quite nice as it is. <clears throat> then for battery saving, you could got you've got smart resolution option or you can just have it at the 1080p, or you can go down to 720p if you want to force that. And then you can adjust to take the notch off. I don't see why you need to bother with that anymore. On the status bar, you can have the option to show the carry name and display network uh, speed. That's under there. In sound, obviously I've gone through that, but you've got the option to have vibrate and silent mode. You could do two different ringtones, two different text tones, and... Obviously, I've gone through the sound effects. I'll talk about what wired and Bluetooth headphones sound uh, afterwards. Notifications, you've got all your notification settings in here. Apps and default apps and app twin. So you do have the ability to do app twin. At the moment, I've only got Facebook installed, but if you put WhatsApp in and if you put other apps, they come into this list as well. So again, that's quite handy, especially when you have the dual SIM. Because this is running Android Pie, you do have the digital well-being included and you've got battery uses battery consumption you know power safe modes ultra power safe modes very very handy uh, storage cleaner to keep it nice and trim digital balance which is screen time management if you've been on the uh, twitter too much or you can put settings in there just to give you an idea you've got options on security fingerprint id uh, face recognition and there's a few more other security settings and app locks as well. You can put passcodes on apps, which is quite good. Um, you've got accessibility, motion control, uh, missed touch prevention. So flip to mute, pick up, three finger screenshot. You've got all that sitting in there as well. And system navigation, you can actually change. So you can use gestures, which is quite nice. Um, you have a floating navigation dock or the three key traditional um, option there. And if you go back into that a second, you've noticed under each one here, it does have optional settings. So you can here change the configuration for you as well. And you also have a drop down thing and you can also have an option to hide navigation, navigation keys automatically. Um, and the gestures here, here it shows you how those gestures work 
very nice there's lots of options and they do have it has phone clone when you set up another phone and especially going from one huawei device to another that's pretty awesome you know get you up and going with an identical copy of what you had previously and that's pretty much it now one thing that you're obviously going to be wanting to know more about is the camera you have the options the settings and in each mode you have different options in the settings you can toggle the ai on or off and i will tell you something very interesting about having the ai on photos moving picture on or off flash auto off on always on this is identification to camera to identify stuff either for shopping or whatever else you might require it does do a number of uh, different things um put that away here you've got the various modes aperture mode night mode portrait mode in portrait mode you can um adjust portrait lighting i don't really like that particularly too much you've got the face beauty levels um which, yeah, they work quite well i don't mind some of those beauty modes um you've got a photo doing the photos video and you can see that goes the full screen options then you've got ar lens time lapse panorama hdr stickers pro mode light painting and filter now something i have noticed let's take ai off and i'm just going to go into the settings and the settings resolution shows maximum of 13 megapixels gps tag assistive grid and you've got different options on the grid as well mute timer audio control I have that on and they just have to say the magic word um, cheese to take a photo and I'll show you that in a second you can capture smiles ultra snapshot pressing the volume down when the screen is off can either turn the camera on or actually take a shot instantly um, it's better just open the camera app then frame it properly and take the photo now if I put AI button on and then go into the settings the resolution drops to 8 megapixels just something to, to bear in mind so I think Whilst the AI isn't as aggressive as in previous models, um, and I do actually quite like it on, you might prefer to have it off to get the, the higher resolution. Um, in video, it does maximum resolution of 1080p at 60 frames per second, and I've got some samples coming up as well, which should be after the, showing the camera app. Uh, portrait does both uh, lighting effects. Um, tap on the so you have various different lighting effects. Um, I personally am not so hot on those. I do like the beauty level modes that are there as well. And you can have background blur disabled or on. It's defaulted as on. So that's there. Night mode. Um, this does have the handheld auto night mode where you can just take ridiculously good night shots. And again, they've copied this from the sort of P20 Pro and Mate 20 Pro. And it's good to see it's such a budget handset and aperture mode is where you can decide what you want to focus so let's just put so 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 you just focus on that point there you say cheese and you saw because i've got the audio control on it took the photo and then what you can do you can go into this uh, photo afterwards you can tap on it you can tap on the aperture icon and you can change what you want in focus so you can have that box and focus, but I've got a proper one I'll show you in a minute, which is uh, discard that. Um, see if I can actually go through. Yeah, so here's an aperture shot, so it's easier to show you. So it's one I've taken in the aperture mode. You notice that the um, handbag's in focus here, but if I tap back there, the handbags are out of focus. You can adjust with one, you know, how you want the focus changed as well, with the f-stop, whether you want you know everything in focus at f16 or whether you just want the you know i think you've tapped in focus you then got various filters so from the stuff behind you can put mono for example make that mono comic and you can change the effects behind the item that you've been focusing on so that i really like wide aperture mode you can have a lot of fun with that and it's really really good um so photos quite straight video more let's just show you pro mode uh, quickly pro mode you've got uh, up to iso uh, 1600 for memory you've got shutter speed here and you can control the shutter speed from auto all the way to eight seconds which again is really good to have that particular option to, to be able to do that 
and power to auto exposure focus you can do um, manual focus your AFC and AFS as well and on the white balance you've got options in the white balance plus you can adjust the scale the Kevlar scale as well so very very useful features so let's go and look at some of the video and camera samples and then I will talk about the overall phone and also plug some big headphones, smaller headphones, Bluetooth headphones and tell you what they sound like and do a speaker test as well. So this is the front camera um, at 1080p, just giving you an idea of the quality. So it looks alright on the screen, just the walking. There we go, the 1080p front camera. So this is 1080p handheld, there's no tripods or selfie sticks used in any of the video that you see. So it's just panning round, 1080p, seeing how it looks going into the sun. Just wanted to get an idea of how that would work. And just come around again. So I'll try a bit of walking, just to give an idea any stabilization what that looks like okay let's go higher resolution Let's do the audio test. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you the loudspeaker. It's, it's, it's okay, it's nothing special to be honest. It's a bit tinny at uh, full volume. Let's just find uh, something else here. Let's put some jazz on, see how that sounds. It's not the loudest, so it does sort of at the top volume. It's a bit it needs to come down off the top, so it doesn't have that sort of. It's too loud for the actual phone itself, but it's all right. As you can probably hear, it's not the best, um, but it's okay. Um, in terms of Bluetooth, where are we? I connected the Sony WH one thousand XM threes uh, to this. This only has the highest codec it can do is Aptex HD. It doesn't have, has Aptex, basic Aptex as well, but it doesn't have LDAC. It just does Aptex HD, which is fine, not too bad. The other thing in terms of headphones, as long as they're fairly efficient in ears or um, up to say 50 ohm, these are Sennheiser HD 598s, they actually sound not bad at all. That's a really, really big surprise. And they go pretty loud. And remember I showed you the in the settings the high um, hiss and sound effects and if you put it onto standard and use the graphic you can really really get some beautiful sounds out of this and these can you know go loud enough in my book let's just don't know if you can hear because I'm obviously trying to find something that's a little bit uh, here we go so it's a bit noisier so you can hear. Let's so say it's loud enough that you can hear it through the actual headphones itself. Um, but yeah, actually, the 
one of the biggest surprises is how nice the audio for the headphones do sound. I was quite surprised at that. In terms of Bluetooth, I did have so those um, Sony WH-XM3s connected and I didn't have any lag when I was watching YouTube, uh, which was excellent. So overall, um, I didn't talk about battery life, but I was getting about um, five and a half to six hours screen on time uh, per day, which is not bad at all. It's a really nice phone. I actually like the styling quite a bit. And for, you know, for 200 pounds, around about 200 pounds is what it costs. It's really quite nice. I like the fact it's got its night mode as well. I do like the selfie shots it takes. Um, at night, the camera, it, you know, does deteriorate slightly at night, and but you so say you do have that night mode to help it out, but there is quite a lot of noise still, as you could probably see from the samples. Video stabilization's not there, that's a disappointment. So don't go walking with it, just hold it still and sort of pan around and you'll have acceptable video. It's not the best, but you'll have acceptable video. But overall, um, I quite like this nice phone. And um, check out, I've got lots of videos coming. This is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Keep well, got any questions, ask them, I'll answer them. Bye for now.